All right, everybody. I'll give you a quick update on where we're at right now with what's going on. I'll try and stay in the light. It started snowing, so I'll be standing in the snow. At 820, the police got a call that someone had shot and killed two people and they were going to kill themselves. They were currently on the premises. That is false. That never happened. Obviously, we're doing a live show. We had multiple agencies. We believe three different agencies. We had local city cops. We had the sheriff and we had state police here. We are lucky. We're very lucky. If you are watching the live show while Luke was speaking around 851 live on Timcast IRL, you can see a police officer walk past the camera and walk out. Fortunately, our chief technical officer walked outside just down this path as the first officers arrived. They they got on the bullhorn. They said, put your hands in the air. And he did. They made him walk up. They interacted for a few minutes. We have all the security camera footage. We're going to put it up tomorrow explaining what happened. Then our uh, another one of our, our producers and a show host, Brett, came out, put his hands up. Brett quickly realized, look, we're being swatted. Multiple officers came up. Then Allison, who's our, our chief operating officer, came out and started talking to them, saying, this is not true. No one is here. No one is hurt. Several other, uh, uh, I think around eight or so vehicles had pulled up. And the, the, the police were basically like, look, we understand. You don't want us to go into your house without a warrant. We have these mats on the ground. Let me see if I can point at it without dropping the phone. It says, come back with a warrant. And they said, but due to exigent circumstances, we will be entering. That's why there's only two cops who come into the studio. Our CTO and our staff were with them the whole time going through the house, showing them like, hey, you know, this is what's going on. And uh, apparently Andy, our CTO, actually pulled up the live show and said, this is what's happening in that room. And they're like, well, we have to check. So they opened the door. And then one of the uh, officers actually motioned to me, like, come out. And I'm like, I'm like, no, like we're, we're live streaming at the time. We can't do this now. We're really lucky we can laugh about this. If our CTO did not walk outside and down that path and those eight vehicles pulled up and all of these officers came out, they would have entered the property. They would have been uh, guns ready, thinking that somebody was, was shooting or something was going on. This is not just a house. This is a, 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 a place of business where we have a receptionist desk, where we have editing suites, where we produce videos. And if this was just a house, police probably would have kicked the door in. And it would have been a more serious moment where we could have been seriously hurt. Ian was talking about how he was going to get up and run to the bathroom. Because when we're live during the show, we don't just somber off to the bathroom. We run. We get up. We have, we have a bathroom in the studio. And we have another bathroom. So Ian, you know, he'd get up and he'd run through the halls. If the cops walked in and they saw him running down the hallway screaming, it could have been really, really bad. We're going to be filing FOIA requests. We're going to get all the documents. We're going to be publishing this because we're not going to stand for it. We are taking security very, very seriously. That's the latest update. A big screw you to whoever did this. But I'll tell you what. We were safe and we were fortunate that this is a place of business and a swatting wouldn't work on us. It was a stupid move. And fortunately, our crew was outside to calm and de-escalate the situation, which means now everyone gets to know about what happened. They get to know that you screwed up. Your plan didn't work. Nobody got hurt. We're just going to get more attention from it. However, I don't like that idea. I don't like making the story about us and what we're doing, but I have some concerns. If this was political, we just hosted Marjorie Taylor Greene. If this was just some some sick trolling campaign or whatever. I want to know what it was. It happened live. I want you to know what it was. And we'll uh, we, we'll, we'll try and be responsible about how we, we put out information. Because um, as you can probably already tell, I'm not a fan of drama. We want to make sure our shows are about topical issues, not us. We want to talk about the election. We want to talk about policing. We don't want to talk about drama with us. We'll address this because we want to prove it happened. We want to figure out who did it. Thanks for listening. I'm sorry, uh, you guys, you know, for dealing with more more of this insan in, 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 in insanity. A special thank you to everybody who checked in on us. We're all good. This I'll say it again. It's an office building. It's a place. Of, it's a place of work. The people who work here don't live here. They have houses. They live in other places. So when they do show up for a swatting, you're showing up in an office building. There's a receptionist. She's gonna be like, "Can I help you?" So for that reason, I think we're we're much more we're, we were safer. So I'll leave it there. Thanks for listening to this update, and um, we'll have more um, coming soon.